Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at it because it's time for Saturday Soup, our collective read. So guys, please, you know what? Do whatever you want with the energy. We've got you, we love you. Let's just hit this. Clearing ground for Saturday Soup, please. Thank you. Here we go, you ready? As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source. The Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit and my ancestors, for overseeing this act of divination, Spirit, please. How many of like clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective from Saturday Soup, guys? Energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you as somebody in your energetic field, and it could be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, clearly and concisely, ancestors. Please and thank you. Show me what I need to see for everyone's highest good here at Saturday Soup. We are truly, truly grateful. Here we go, guys. Okay, we have... The magician, the magi, the deliberate creator, the I am. Someone who turns their visions into reality by taking some kind of inspired action. Somebody's actually putting the work in to manifest something. It takes a lot of willpower. It takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of using your head. It's creation. It's resourcefulness. Tell me what's going on here. Somebody likes like Louis Vuitton. What is that? Those red... What are those red bottom shoes? Okay, four of pentacles here. Somebody's trying to save their money, perhaps. Somebody's trying to be, oh, somebody may need to be more um, frugal. Four pentacles, somebody needs to clam up. This is, I tell you all the time, my card of constipation. In other words, you don't let anybody know how much money you have, what your resources are, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Don't say nothing. Maybe you're holding back on your infection, not infections, affections, okay? So four pentacles. Somebody needs to, whatever you're manifesting here, you need to be quiet first of all. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Whatever you're building, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're working on here, okay? You see this person with the apple in their mouth? Shut up about it, okay? Even if you got to put your hands over your face, don't be telling anybody your business, all right? Something about red again. Yeah, I don't know what those, yeah. I see those red bottom shoes. I don't know why I want to say Louis Vuitton. I don't know what, I don't do, I don't do name brand thing. I don't do that, but um, all right. Whatever those red bottom shoes are. I'm hearing apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Somebody likes to walk around with rollers in there. They got the whole club looking at her. Something about a cobblestone street? What is going on over here? All right, so listen. Show me the foundation. So somebody's in manifestation mode. The alchemist, the magi. And they need you need to shut up about it, most importantly. Maybe save some money. All right, here we go. Now, here we go. The foundation, oh, wow, this is why. Look, at the foundation situation, you've got a page of swords, okay? So some, you got people watching you. It could be anybody, all right? These are people that like to gossip or a person. This is somebody that's very curious. It's like, it's, what is it? <laughs> the prying eyes, we're watching you. Who is that? Hold on, there goes my head. My head is starting to itch. Oh, my God, I lost the hat. Listen, guys, there's nosy people. It could be anybody. It could be the office gossip, nosy neighbors. People that want to know how you're manifesting, what you're manifesting, this is why you need to shut up. And Yeah. I'm serious. Crowning you, you're about to be so happy. Look, it's the sun. Also, you know, these two cards that come out together, if I wanted to keep them together, I could say somebody's watching how happy you are and what you're creating because the sun, you know, illuminating. Somebody wants a lot of illumination here. But either way, this is a lot of happiness for you. Yeah. It's good. It's Leo energy. Something significant. Somebody could be 47 here. So you got Leo as the most predominant in Gemini. Show me. Okay. Now we got a five of cups. Well, look at this is what the problem is. Now, now whoever was watching you, maybe watching you be very happy and create something that could be very successful. All right. Whatever this is that you're working on. Now somebody's a five of cups in reverse. Now somebody, you know, perhaps is finding peace and moving on. Okay. Could be you. Because you're busy manifesting. Doubt it's this person that's watching you because if they were finding peace and moving on, they wouldn't be watching you, okay? Somebody's content now. Somebody's living in the land of acceptance. And because of this acceptance, they're able to move forward and find happiness. Now, we do have the hermit in reverse. Somebody here might be a little lonely. or feeling isolated. Maybe you have some kind of imbalanced social life. Perhaps you're withdrawn. Somebody might be a little paranoid here. Somebody might be going to the dark night of the soul. Somebody here might like to drink a lot. Show me what's going on here. Somebody is doing some beauty regimen treatment thing. How are you perceiving that? Okay. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody's very clear thinking. Somebody might particularly be keeping themselves isolated so they can do work on themselves. You got a king of swords here. This is somebody who's very clear thinking and strategic. So, you know, you can have somebody that has Virgo in their chart. You're looking at this person like they're very balanced and fair. You're looking at this person like they have a lot of discipline and they're very clear thinking. So somebody might, you know, even though they're lonely and isolated, it could be purposely. Oh, okay. So show me what's going on here. So now we got Virgo and uh, Leo and Gemini is the most predominant. So this could be a high Gemini that we're talking about here. Show me. Thank you. Okay. So now we got the three ones. In the center of the spread. Somebody's gaining some kind of momentum here. Somebody's got some kind of end game. So even if this includes, like, okay, so that's what it is. Whatever your end game is that you're manifesting over here, okay, first of all, keep your mouth shut. You got people watching you. You know, you, people could be watching you be very successful and very happy. And, and coming to a place of acceptance where you, you know, that's affording you the opportunity to be happy. And here you are. Now, you might purposely be keeping your, yourself to yourself. You know what I mean? Maybe you're going through a dark night of soul. Maybe somebody's dealing with an a drinking issue, like I said. But this is withdrawal. And with the King of Swords has the way you're looking at it, whether this is you or somebody that you're looking at like this, it's almost like it's a purple, purposeful, intentional withdrawal because you're busy focusing on what it is that you're, you know, you're trying to save here and manifest. And with the Three of Wands, you obviously have some kind of plan, some kind of an end game, okay? There's a destination you want to reach. So with that foresight, and looking ahead, you're taking the lead and you're gaining momentum. See what I'm saying? With confidence. Like, like somebody's trudging up that hill with that sleigh on their shoulder. And that's the end of that. Show me. Show me what, yeah, please and thank you. Now, what's going on? Somebody might like to lift weights here. Somebody can be 51 or 6. 555 five, five megahertz, 555 five, five hertz. That's healing any past trauma. It's also a connection to your fifth dimension. While we're on the subject, guys. Playing for your healing sound bath, it's set at 417 megahertz, 417 hertz today. This is a deep overall healing of everything by Archangel Metatron. We're purging all negative energy within you or around you. It's just a purge, okay? Obsidian, obsidian, it's the protection stone. It blocks and absorbs any negative energy and it heals and grounds you. So that's what we're doing. Here we go. Show me. Okay, now. You got a two of swords in reverse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two of swords in reverse is when maybe somebody is confused because they're going to get some kind of information. This information might be like too much. Like, wow, TMI, too much information. Ha! <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay? Whatever this is, you because of the, you, you might be very indecisive. Like, if you had to make a decision now, you might be indecisive. You're about to see something really clearly, okay? And it could be that somebody intentionally, you know, maybe somebody's intentionally, I don't know, there's like a energy here of somebody who purposefully stays to themselves you know and they may be a little lonely here but it doesn't matter because i think yeah this person is using their head keeping to themselves you know what i mean working on them somebody's working on themselves somebody's doing like beauty regimens i don't care if it's the hair eating healthy like healthy snacks going to the gym staying by themselves here manifesting something People are watching you. Somebody is. Whatever this is that you're, you know, you're working on yourself and you're con concentrating on here, it's making you very fucking happy. You also come to a place of acceptance. Yourself, the world, everything. It's like That's leading you to happiness. But now you're going to see something very clearly. It could be about a direction you're taking. Show me what's going on here. Somebody likes to wrestle. Okay. Now we got the hangman in reverse. I think, guys, first of all, look. They're in the upright. The hangman in reverse with somebody stalling. And, and the reason why they're stalling is because they could be indecisive here about some kind of... There could be a lack of clarity, like I said. Okay, the hangman is 12. That reduces to 3. So something about the 3rd to 12th, March or December. Let me do 32 here. I did tell you 3 is, of course, the board, pure energy, the ascended masses. So with that, somebody might, you know, trying to... Somebody could be very disinterested or discontent in a situation. Okay? Maybe they're trying to avoid some kind of a sacrifice. The two of swords in reverse... You know, it's, it, it could be because they're confused and indecisive. Maybe there's going to be some kind of truth reveal that's going to knock somebody's socks off over here. All right? But somebody's, got, somebody's definitely got an end game here. Now, show me this bottom. There's going to be some kind of illumination to something. Okay, here we go. Strength. Be strong. Be resilient. Don't have any self-doubt. Leo energy. The eighth might be of significance. Or well, August. Somebody might be going to the circus here. This is, you know, being very brave. and Just, yeah. Taking the lead. Courageously. 
It's also about having boundaries and self-respect. Absolutely. And how are you doing this? What are you doing here? Guys, by the way, if we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity beyond your wildest dreams to infinity and beyond. And could you please hit a button? Any button. It doesn't matter. The dislike, the like, the subscribe. I mean, we hope that that's what it is. But um, please, get your energy in and help get the message out for others. We are truly, truly grateful. Show me what's going on here. So now, oh, well, here's the thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an example. Let's say somebody's trying to decide whether or not they should get married. Let's just say. Or conform to some kind of traditionalism, whatever that is. Or perhaps get into some kind of contractual obligations, no matter what it is. Business, maybe, for something that you're manifesting. Somebody's stalling here, perhaps, because they're indecisive about what to do. Like, should I get married or should I not get married? Should I go into business with this person or should I not? You know, something might be significant about uh, overseas business. It's Taurus energy now. Here we go. The Hierophant is also number five. So, it's, you know, some kind of conformity or expectations. Somebody might have some kind of expectations about somebody here and they, somebody's stalling. Hmm. Gonna, uh, very, very clearly thinking though. I'm telling you what, somebody's got the presence of mind about them. <laughs> okay, keep going. So we got Taurus and Leo at the bottom. Somebody might collect stamps here. Here, now we got the Knight of Swords. Well, Somebody's either rushing in to say something. They have to clearly articulate themselves here. This person's got to get something off their chest. I'm getting a very impatient energy, okay? Somebody's very um, focused here. Somebody might have some kind of a lifestyle change now where they just be strong and decide to conform. Like, okay, I'm going to be strong and do this. I'm going to conform to whatever traditionalism or contractual obligations or yada, yada, yada that there is, okay? Somebody might have something to say about this. Oh, okay, here we go. Now, we also have, ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. Somebody can be obsessed. Somebody can be obsessed with some kind of conf conformity. <laughs> okay. Or some kind of lifestyle change here. Somebody might also have some toxic behaviors, okay? Remember I said somebody might drink a lot here or something like this? Maybe that's purposely why they keep themselves away. They know that they have these toxic behaviors. Somebody it could be anything. I mean, the, the devil. What do you want me to tell you? 51 again. 51, 51 I'm getting. So, 6-6. Six, 6-6-6 six. Six, six, six. again. Let's open up our heart chakra. Capricorn energy. Any planetary placement. Somebody can be obsessed with anything. Somebody can be overly sexually lustful. Someone might have some kind of, like I said, addiction to anything. So, what's going on? Now, we also got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, well, see, this is what's going to happen. Because this is now somebody's feeling gloomy and unloved. Because maybe somebody wants too much control or... or they don't want to conform. Like It's a situation here. So somebody's got to go and focus, like I said, with this three of wands. It seems like they want some kind of success. Somebody could be traveling. This could be somebody. Oh, there is love coming in. Somebody doesn't want to give up. Okay, the world. Of, oh, well, nice, nice. So somebody could be traveling. Somebody could be getting a, vehicle, a new vehicle. Vroom, vroom. Something about a rooster. A rooster. Somebody here, you know, is focused on whatever this foresight is. Somebody here wants love. Somebody here could be a father or father figure. Somebody might have triplets. Somebody here is emotionally mature, emotionally balanced and available, very loving. That's dead day. I tell you all the time. Somebody's not, you know, giving up here. Somebody might feel like they, there could be competition in a situation or perhaps they're just being very, you know, self-protective like you should be up here. But the Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. You got a soulmate in the house. The 10th, it's the Sagittarius energy. Good luck. Decisions that will change the fate of your destiny. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's chance. It's also a soulmate, like I said. This is very good. This is a nine of cups. It's emotional fulfillment, happiness, and success. And somebody here might just be in some very deep contemplation. Somebody here is also disgusted with their job. Somebody might, yeah, look at this. Oh, wow. Listen to this. <laughs> somebody here might have a drinking problem. Remember I told you this? We only got a queen of wands in the house. Somebody might know that, okay? So maybe they're trying to hide this or they're going to the dark night. So, okay, the divine feminine knows this. This wife is about to hit her husband over there because this guy's always coming home drunk. He stops at the bar like, yeah. He stops at the bar. Maybe he works on the docks, something like this. With some cranes. With some cranes. And this guy, he, you know, he's coming home drunk every damn night. Because he don't know when to say like one beer, two beer, it's time to go home. Somebody's working really, really hard here. They could be disgusted with their job. Maybe that's why they're stopping for beers. I don't know. But there's a wife here that's so pissed off at her husband, she's ready to, she's ready to molly whop him. Ha! <laughs> God! Yeah. Oh, it's the lovers. So you got Gemini energy here. 
Oh, and a new beginning. So that's all that counts. All right. Let's get you some, um, let's get you some positive affirmations. We love you. Okay. Bring up your energy, frequency, and vibration. Say positive things. Today, we're going to say that we will not compare ourselves to others. You can't. Everybody is so uniquely different. It's ridiculous. You can, you compare yourself. You can't. I will find true peace in your own life and your own being. And be capable every day. Accomplish whatever goals you can. And try to set some goals for yourself to accomplish. Then you feel like you're getting some place in life. Be brave. Step up to the challenge with courage. All day, every day. Okay? You'd be surprised what you can accomplish when you do step up to challenges with courage. And you're not comparing yourself to others, right? So, yeah. All right, something about Daisy, Daisy. I'm getting the dollop of Daisy. <laughs> Maybe something about sour cream or a daily. Somebody's doing something on a daily. In Rhode Island, perhaps. Somebody's sailing. We got a blank. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. Somebody's going to do some kind of phase or rise, rise, mushroom. F Z R D S L J J H A A blank. And two eyes. All right, thank you. Close the energy, please. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.